Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mr. JT Decker, and this is Penumbra Overture. Uh, I decided today to just go ahead and do two episodes of this, just a double feature since we didn't get too far in the first episode. So here we're going to continue straight on. All right. All right. Workshop. Let's go to the workshop. Why not? Seems as good a place as any to go. Workshop. Okay. Uh, what does my note say? Notes. No. To-do list. The entrance to the cave has caved... Oh, no. I found a locked door in the middle of the mine. Okay. That door is locked. Can't go in there. Where am I? This is the storage, right? Uh, storage room, yes, probably. Uh, no, what is this? I'm right here. Oh, I'm this little circle right there. Okay, I'll use my glow stick. Um, so if I'm that little circle, storage is that way. Okay. Go this way. Here we go. I guess my glow stick doesn't really run out of... Does it have a battery? No. Yeah. Keep on going. Storage room. Alright, let's go into storage room. Because I'm sure there's something there that I need. Oh, gotta fix my microphone. There we go. Okay, uh, what is this? What does that sound? What does that sound? What does this mean? It's a crude representation of, of a scorched, writhing spider. What the heck? Okay. Okay, where's this? I got a lighter. Put that on two. Nope. <laughs> nope. Uh, glow stick. I don't want to save my battery. Glow stick's almost better than the flashlight. What's this? Whoa. Hey, that's like the things in amnesia. Oh, so bright. Oh, what the hell? What just happened? I don't know if that was such a good idea. What is this? Painkillers and batteries. What is this? Painkillers, yeah. Okay. I'm sure that was good. Rings of... It's locked, okay. Locked from the other side. That... Does that mean there's someone still inside? I can hear chattering. Thank God. Maybe I can get someone to answer. Ah, the, the notes pass too fast for me to read them. There's a locked door with odd noises coming from the other side behind it in storage. Maybe I can, if I... Hey! Hey! Open up! Open up! Ah! Now... Can I get in from in here, maybe? No... Oh, yeah, I just can't get in there. That's very possible. Ah, the sound is freaking me out. Okay, well, I got the lighter. Which is, I assume, is why I needed to go there, was to get the lighter. That's a very creepy sound. Oh. Okay. Continuing forward. Oh, that is... Oh. What? <gasps> oh! Hey there, puppy dog. The crap? Uh. What am I supposed to 
esto. Uh. Bueno. Where'd the dog go? That's the one thing I've heard that in this game, they don't just disappear like they do in Amnesia. They stick around. Oh. Where you at, dog? Oh, oh, that is spooky. Look at that. Oh, here it comes. Oh, gotta... Get out of here. Go, 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 go. Can't go in the workshop yet. Uh, uh, office. It's got to get to the office. Okay. All right. I think I gave it the slip. Let's turn off my light just in case. Hello. Aha. All right, made it to the office. Dog didn't kill us. That was a spooky looking dog. All right. Hey, what is this? Baxterin. 15th of August, 1945. Command bunker, emergency airstrip Zulu. Weekly report. Another unremarkable week in Greenland. Regular supply shipment received, standard emergency drills carried out, routine runway maintenance completed. I have ordered maintenance to be carried out twice weekly from here on in due to increased snowfall. One wounded. The one wounded figured figure is no cause for concern back in London. The Germans haven't extended their front line by 4,000 miles. Two of my men were caught manufacturing cherry bombs in our workshop, work, <laughs> workshop slash armory. And succeeded in blowing off a couple fingers. <laughs> Stupid guys. I take partial responsibility for this, and that I allowed them to access to I allowed them access to the demolitions manual we keep in the storeroom. And I'm sure that that's where they learned the ingredients. As a precautionary measure, I have now look, locked up that manual in the chest in my office, and I will be keep the key on my person at all times. Okay. Oh. A man, an old man, clutching something unseen. He is strange, and yet he is no stranger. Never seen him before, still I know. This man before me is Howard. I call him Father. Hmm. It was different, but the same that time. Like I had more control, but over what? I don't know. Anything in these... Hey! A key! Monday, 17th August, 1930. Cytropic deposits at the bottom of Death Mine. Researchers at the University of Car Copenhagen have suggested that mind-altering chemicals naturally sown into the rock may be the cause of high suicide rates at Greenland Mine. Hmm. The university, which has recently been conducting studies into isolated communities, first became interested in the workers of the northwestern lead mine last year. They discovered that even taking into account Greenland's natural naturally higher suicide rate, local figures for the last 100 years were abnormally high at 46 deaths per 100,000 populace, compared to national average of 29. On further investigation, ex experts diagnosed in many of the minor symptoms in common with the early stages of paranoid schizophrenia. This has prompted researchers to hypothesize that natural deposits of lysergic acid or PH4 formula recently discovered to have hallucinogenic properties may be present in the rocks. Few locals were con conductive to interview, but those who agreed to speak had their own explanation. Into its spirits, known as the Tungate, live in the mon mountains. The university is awaiting results for chemical testing studies to continue. Interesting. Uh, the game does present the story in a much different f in a much different fashion than... Oh, what is this? Batteries! Than uh, Amnesia did. Anything in here? Rah. Nope. Okay. It's locked. I need a key. Another flare. <clears throat> a key. Oh, wait. I got a key. Key, key, key. Bam. Unlocked. Big Book of Explosives. 1923 edition. Chapter 1-3. Black Match Fuse. The Black Match Fuse is one of the oldest, simplest, and most reliable fuses used in modern pyrotechnics. It is easy to create, essentially consisting of string and gunpowder, but be warned, the chemicals con concerned will stain clothing. <laughs> Aww! Materials required. String, 
Black Gunpowder Baxton. Ah, I have the Baxton. The string should be coated with a thin layer of Baxton, which acts as adhesive. Blah, blah, blah. Dynamite. I need one part diatomaceous earth, three parts nitroglycerin, and small amount of sodium carbonate. TNT. Armstrong. Okay. So it's giving me. What is this? Painkillers. Excuse me. What is this? Beef jerky. Is that for the dog? Eat the beef jerky. More beef jerky. Maybe I should equip this beef jerky. Two, three. <laughs> beef jerky. Okay. Typewriter dates back even further than the war. Made in Germany in 1923. How old is this base, I wonder? It just occurred to me that I have not set my timer for this video. <laughs> I have no idea how long I've been playing. Uh, I'm just going to keep going for a couple more mi minutes. All right, you know what? I'm going to end this. Since I did a double episode today, if this is short, then I'm going to end it now. Uh, I'm not quite sure what length it'll be. But I'm going to end this here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you want to subscribe and see further videos, just click on my face up here to subscribe. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, click the like button down below, and that really helps me out and lets me know that you're enjoying it. Uh, let, leave, leave a comment letting me know what you liked, what you didn't like, and how I can improve, because I always want to improve. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next episode. Bye-bye. Oh, uh, no, my whiskey. <laughs>